Hey guys, today's video are the purses that was left in my collection. I got about six in here that are left on my vintage collection and I want to share it with you all. different these are the vintage purses that is left on my collection after this video it's gonna be a lot of vlogs so if you want to watch more unboxing I'll link it up here but anyway we'll, we'll, we'll get it going so first I got my little HL Louis Vuitton I have this purse for a while like I said this is pretty vintage I got in a secondhand market I cannot afford luxury purses before so when I got a chance to purchase them I end up buying all the things that I miss out 20 30 years ago so this is my HL I'll put the link up here for more in depth on what is in this mini Louis Vuitton speedy basically this is the only speedy left in my collection all of the speedy that you saw in my previous video those are sold already I'm trying to create and just get rid of things I don't really need as I go older I intend to get smaller purses so this is the first one this is baby speedy it comes with a strap but i left the strap in my other room since you see i'm back on my old filming room i just don't have enough light on that room today so that's why i'm right here so that's the first one is the speedy the second one is this stephen sprouse this is a 20 year old mini pochette and this this thing is like a rock star I can take this wherever super pretty I'll insert some photos in here I took um, where we were traveling and then just I'm just having this purse a moment I remember taking this to the mountains and this is like a carefree purse I won't even need to worry if it is gonna get scratched or dead since this is a canvas and the most special is the print and if you know pochettes are the best investments for Louis Vuitton but they're so hard to come by I sold my multi pochetti if you want to see that multi pochetti I'll link it up here again but anyway here is the second one the third one is pretty special this is one of the purses that I don't want to let go but I I have a buyer for this already so I just want to show you before she goes to her new home and it's a bit um really sweet and sad moment but I gravitate on this purse when I just go run errands. It's super cute. It's a gold hardware, gold on everything. Has a 24 karat Chanel purse. This um, is just a square. And Chanel prices are getting real expensive lately. So I am gonna jump on that bandwagon and sell this Chanel just until the price is so high. I bought this long time ago. Like I said, he has a pocket right here and an opening inside. And the chain strap go all the way um, onto my hip. And here's a photo of it. And the good thing about this is, is you can you can just pretty much double strap it. And that can be like an evening purse. And once you double strap, you don't even need to worry about carrying a big giant purse. And this is just a perfect evening purse right here. As you can see, it has the classic square mini detail. But this is on a different print and a different um approach it has a back pocket which is great for cell phones if you have a tiny phone that is great in there but most likely this this square mini is a dream chanel prices are getting so ridiculously high and it's one of those things that i, I don't know if i can justify the chanel purses prices right in the moment and with this purse that is pretty much hard to find it's all gold good for day and night I remember taking this to yoga and then nobody say anything it's just a cute everyday purse night purse all around purse on this one this is the Chanel square and then I got a new kind of new on my collection I purchased this on a reseller I really wanted a super vintage one if you've seen my medium unboxing classic stuff I link it right here I sold that medium as well I've been selling a lot of Chanel and Louis Vuittons lately because I'm trying to gravitate towards more on Hermes and just get away from the other brands that doesn't hold that value. One of the best decision is to repurchase an old 1986-1989 purse. This is the Chanel 
classic flap and as you can see the puffings in this is kind of a little bit go down this is a super old purse this purse is almost as old as me and it has a gold um hardware and it, since it's a classic double flap you can put something in there i usually put receipt on that pocket and then right here is your classic chanel you got i got an insert comes with it the seller that sold me this i'll link her down in my description got me an insert i didn't buy this insert which is kind of nice because i don't want to spend another four hundred dollars on an insert since seven rps inserts are so freaking expensive but You've seen a lot of Chanel everywhere and pocket in here, inside in here. And this is the medium um, double flap. There's so many Chanel unboxing vintages out there. But mine is kind of special because I bought it in a co-Filipino person and she did such a great job on keeping this purse and she just sold it to me. And I am happy that I bought it from her. And the back has that envelope container right there and this is one of those classics that you don't even need to think about what are you going to wear it for so it's like I don't want to worry about scratching my purse I don't want to worry about getting the puff gone or anything like that and Chanel prices for a medium classic double flap now is oh my gosh as much as seven eight grand which is ridiculous you can buy a Birkin with that price um or a Kelly per se a um, couple more dollars and then you're on the Hermes bandwagon but anyway I'm rambling so much so that is my classic 1984 1986 1989 Chanel flap um, this is just recently in my collection like I said but I love her to death this is my new everyday purse right now and speaking of everyday purse I have my old and trusty Goyard right here this is the PM I got, I stuff it with a bunch of things. This is my diaper bag currently. And a quick what's in my bag in here. I got this Hermes dust bag as a container for, for masks and for wipes. And then pretty much this Goyard's been everywhere. I think I purchased this back in 2000 and 2008, 2009. And she's pretty old and slouchy and she's amazing. She's dirty, but she's amazing. I'm thinking to buy um, a, a GM size of this, maybe a black and white GM size, since this is a PM. So here she is, pretty scrunch up, but she's still a, a warrior. Last but not the least, this bag is so famous back in 2013. I was wishing I bought bought this back then I remember everyone was rocking the Celine and I was so jealous because I was like I cannot justify a four thousand dollar Celine purse and it looks like this it looks like your little I don't I rem I don't even remember it now I'm getting I'm getting blackout but anyway it looks like a little face there you go and then this is the Celine medium and this Celine has been through rough times this is an expensive purchase um this is my this used to be my favorite bag of all time but since it's not happy anymore it's like i'm kind of over this this face already and i still had a dust bag in it um i think i'm gonna sell this one as well just to get out of this old purses vintage vintage purses in my collection it has the braided um the braided zipper in here i don't even use that part and it's big open face right here this was my test before i purchased a birkin because it's a top handle and it's big and i really wanted a birkin 40 or a 35 to carry around but this was my pretend to be birkin back then and she's going to a good home soon and the back is still nice. The bottom has four feet. Amazing pearls. Uh, um, amazing purse. I've been, I've been looking at celebrities back in 2013 about this purse, and I was like, those are so nice. But I really wanted a brown or a black, so I end up buying her. But anyway, so those, so those are all the purses I got in my collection that is left on my vintage collection. If you like more luxury unboxing and more in-depth mass unboxing, I got videos here for you. And if you like
like more vlogs about Colorado, watch out for my next video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!